Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, in this quick video, I wanted to do a quick demo on how you can create and use the Parameco library <clears throat> uh, for, for Python. Now, I have been doing a few videos on network security for Python. And in this example code that we have, uh, what I wanted to demo is how you can write a very simple brute force uh, script uh, which is probably not very sophisticated, but it's just to give you some idea how people can write it and what are the different elements that we are using in this uh, programming language. So what I have done, I'm actually running a uh, PyCharm and the code is written in this PyCharm and I'm running in a newer version of the Kali. And I have another machine, another Ubuntu, where I have created one user with the username is test and have assigned a very simple password. The password is actually ABC. And you can see that, you know, I have already cracked the password. But what I wanted to do, uh, go over this code just a little bit and do a quick demo and run the code so you know what is going on. So what I have done, I have a few simple things in here, okay, that we have imported and we are using in this program. We have a simple class brute force that we're gonna use to brute force uh, once we make SSH connection. Now, for the SSH connection, it's much easier to use one of the libraries rather than creating your uh, uh, connection using the socket. So that's what we are doing. So here, when you initiate the brute force class, you need a character set, like uh, how many characters, like if, is it uppercase, lowercase, a complex password, and what's the length? Is it uh, four characters, five characters, 10 characters, 100 characters, right? And you need a server IP wherever your uh, SSH server is running, okay? And then we have a we have a function. That function you're gonna use to crack the password. And here, all you need is the username. Inside this function, what we are do it, doing, that we are creating a, a client. And over here, if you see, we're really calling another function to to do the create client job for us. If you look over here, the create client is really uh, here, we are using the Parameco. So one thing we are doing, we are creating the client policy using Parameco.auto add policy, then uh, creating the client, and then we are adding that policy that we have to the missing setup host key policy, and then we are returning the client back, okay? So over here, we have the client available to me. So once I have the client, and uh, we are starting with a guess, insert.guesses, okay? Now, guesses is an interesting one. So this is a function that is iterable, and we are using the it.product to create all of the passwords that are joined, and you are creating a complex uh, ran, full is not random, you will know when, when we will be running this code. So this returns one a possible combination at a time and pass it to this particular code, right, to this particular loop. Once you have one of the guesses, you are going to try to connect. You already have the client uh, object and you're going to try with the username that you're going to provide. You're going to provide the password that you're guessing. And there's a timeout we are saying so, so it's not waste too much time trying to connect to a particular server. So what's going to happen if this is successful, then we're going to print, okay, we, we have cracked the password and we're going to print what is the password that uh, was able to crack. Uh, and then we're going to return the password back to us. And if it's not the right password, we'll send it to the exit block. And we're going to print, okay, this, this guess that you're guessing is not a match. And finally, when everything is done, we're going to close the client connection, okay? So here, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, so look it up how to use the property and the iterator. And in the main block, what we are doing, uh, we have uh, three input function. So we're asking for, okay, what is the username that you want to use for, the, for, your, for your brute force? What is the server name? Or I should change that to server IP, you know? server ip and uh, server ip let's make that server ip so this is what is the server ip that you want to uh, uh, send the packets to and what is the length of the password uh, do you think the password is going to be five six seven eight nine whatever character now here is the character set now you can define your own character set here i'm keeping it simple and i'm only looking for ascii characters that's all 
so it's going to look for all uppercase and lowercase letters so abc so no numbers uh, no complex nothing like that but you can add if you want to add the digit you can say string dot digit and add it to your character set so this is going to what we're going to pass to the brute force object that we are creating here here and then we're going to call the crack password that we have the method that we have defined now for this i have created a ubuntu machine in the ubuntu machine i have added a user as i said the username is test and the password I have set it as ABC and I know the IP address the internal IP address where it's running so let's do a quick demo on this if I run this brute force asking for okay what is the username you want to brute force I already know that the test is a valid username what is the IP address so 192.168.1.109 that is where I'm running the Ubuntu server and what is the length I know to make things faster I only kept it three now note that as soon as your password length increases amount of time it needs to brute force will exponentially increase okay so make sure when you're using brute force you know about all that so I'm just for simplicity keeping it at three and hit enter and if I still have the connectivity properly available so now these are the combinations you are getting like a, a is not a match AAC is not a match so it will keep going and I'm gonna keep it running for like uh, 30 seconds or something like that so it's as I said it's on the ABC it has to go only up to that as soon as it hits the match what will happen it will print this and it will print the guess so it will print the ABC and uh, it will return back so it will get out of the loop so it will not continue anymore all right, so as you can see, it's still going. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it gets closer, okay? All right, I'm just unpausing. You can see that my uh, brute force attack is still going on on my own machine. Uh, it's AB, ah, oh, look at that. So it did A, A, W, A, X, A, Y, A, Z, A, B, A, A, B, B, and then as soon as it hits the A, B, C, it cracked the password okay again I want to share this code with you uh, in the video and also on my github account so please play with it make it better and if you have an improved version please share with me thank you and have fun